new at 5 o'clock, more than 37,000 students will head back to school Monday in Berkeley County, and the district says they could see nearly 1,000 more before the first day of school. News News' Octavia Mitchell sat down with the district superintendent about changes this year and how they hope voters will help ease growth issues in Berkeley County. To see 38,000 students this year, we wouldn't be surprised. Superintendent Dion Jackson is preparing to begin his second school year as leader of Berkeley County School District. Our operations previously have geared more so towards uh, the public health aspect. And so gearing back towards more so towards the curriculum and instruction uh, and also um, our, our safety aspect. And so uh, we focused a lot on environmental safety and we're, we're talking about physical safety and security at this particular point. Some of the top priorities facing the district closing the achievement gap made wider by the pandemic, building new schools to accommodate growth and safety. Jackson says the district's safety and emergency management team is one of the best around. We're constantly looking at ways to uh, enhance our protocols and to create a more uh, a safer environment. You know, we're, we're adding additional SROs. Uh, we're partnering with our local law enforcement. We're also adding some additional uh, physical uh, safety features as well. Uh, we continue to have our access control. We have the secondary entry points as well. And then we're also adding uh, additional fencing to help with uh, secure the perimeters of our building. Really, it's, um, you know, making sure that our students and our staff, that we are aware of the protocols and that we adhere to those safety protocols. This year, the district made changes to attendance lines to accommodate growth. Uh, at times we have to make adjustments to those um, to those attendance lines and so uh, we have to put the enrollment where we have capacity. BCSD will open a new school next year but the need for new facilities continues and they're hoping a penny sales tax that will be on the ballot this fall will help with that. It's kind of an even distribution of the responsibility. We would even get some help from folks that are passing through Berkeley County or that come over the border and, uh, and they, spend, uh, they spend some of their, their funds in Berkeley County. So we get some help from them as well to help build schools uh, for Berkeley County School District. Also this year, all of the district's employees will see a salary increase. In, in passing of our budget, our board um, authorized a 4% um, increase for all employees, and so that in, included teachers, obviously. And so in addition to that, we were also able to uh, offer an incentive uh, for our teachers uh, through using our federal funding. So using our ESSER funding, the board authorized a $1,000 um, retention incentive for our teachers as well. Jackson's message to students before the first day? Hopefully, you got some rest during the summer. Hopefully, you got some rest during the summer because we're, we're ready. We're ready for you. We're ready for you to come back. We have all the supports and resources in place uh, in order for you to be successful. Um, and we're, we're going to be successful. We're going to make a positive difference. Octavia Mitchell, Count on Two.